All right, thank you very much, DK. Borderlands looks great, and now we're going to get into Sony. The big press conference later tonight, as you heard from Sean Layden, but Sony is diving headfirst into the virtual reality game with Project Morpheus, first announced at the Game Developers Conference back in March. Well, joining me now in at least uh, three dimensions is the Senior Director of R&D at SCEA, Richard Marks, also known for your work at the Magic Lab. Is that <laughs> R&D is also Magic Lab, right? Yeah, that's my group, yes. Well, Richard, you guys do such amazing things there, and it was fun for launch to go there and see the, the eye tracking that you guys are doing, the tease of working with NASA and everything, and then obviously Project Morpheus, which is a thing you couldn't talk about yeah, last November. Yeah, show that then. <laughs> but uh, it's cool that you guys obviously had it at GDC, so I went uh, heads-on with it. Very cool experience. Uh, you had some demos there. We wanted to bring you by to just give us an update on, I mean, what's the latest on Morpheus since March? Well, sure, we're showing Morpheus again here at E3, and we have a, a new demo to show. Actually, okay. we have a Street Luge. It's, okay. a, it's kind of this it's a tech demo that shows the, the feeling of riding down on a luge on, through, through traffic. It's, right. It's really, we get some footage here, first time people are seeing this. So you're going to put the, uh, hey, so the, what's interesting about this to me, and I haven't played it, but it feels like there's such a sense of motion. Yeah, right. you actually, it's really fun to play laying down, actually, okay. so you feel like you're on the luge. <laughs> oh, God. And then you don't use it. We need a live demo of this. <laughs> you don't use a controller or anything. You just use your head to kind of tilt left and right, and okay. then that steers you. Really? This yeah, just so seems like such a different sensation to be, like, lying on the floor <laughs> with this. <laughs> yeah, we, Does it feel weird? I, yeah, I was actually just uh, visiting my nephews, and they tried it out, and they were really getting into it kind of See, this down. is a, it pays to be the nephew of Richard Marks. You just bring out, <laughs> open up your toolbox, and it's like, here's some new stuff to try out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is, and who's making this demo? Is this, this, I don't, this is from our London studio. Okay. Also, they're uh, experimenting with different things, so right. they made the deep, and then... That was really cool, it. where you're, you're doing the dive and things yeah. like that. So tell me about, I mean, these demos, how do you decide which demos to do? I mean, obviously, do the developers come to you and say, hey, we want to do a street luge demo, or you're like, let's try something that has a great sense of motion to it. I mean, how do you test these different ideas? Actually, we're trying to explore as many different things. We have a lot of different developers interested in Morpheus, and they're right. trying out all different kinds of crazy ideas, because this is so new right now, right. we don't really know what's going to be the next big thing for VR. Out of all the demos you guys have done so far, which one do you feel is the closest to what you know the, the best VR experience is? Well, they're all really different, and right. they all give you a different sense of presence. This one is great because you're kind of whizzing down, like you said. Right. You get that feeling of the sound rushing up things when they go right past your ears. Right. That's great. The, the, the castle demo where you reach out and actually kind of pick right. things up and manipulate them, that has a different sense of presence. When do we get to crash in this demo? <laughs> Can well, we crash? So, so you don't actually physically stop. The, the okay. cars just kind of explode. But the coolest thing, I think, in this demo, after you play it, you know, first time you're looking downhill the whole time because you're afraid you're going to smash into something. This is like burnout meets lose. Uh, but the but the cars, like, after you've played it, you can go under the semi-trucks, oh actually, God. and you can look up and see the bottom of the truck as you go under, just like in the movies. And no one gets nauseous <laughs> going 140 miles an hour in traffic. It's That's actually true. surprising. Actually, right. it feels... It feels so realistic that you're riding on something. You just kind right. of feel natural, and I, I, don't, I don't think people get sick of, well, in our experience so far. Well, you, will you have this at the booth? This will be at the booth, yeah. Okay. What are the other? Are deep? It'll be at, at the booth at least one of the days. Okay. So, what are some of the other demos and things we're going to see at the booth? And so, it, and it's you know, it depends on exactly the, the schedule isn't fully fixed, but right. we're going to show some of the ones we've shown before as okay. well, like the castle and. Yep. Um, Deep deep we're seeing well. some of the uh, the footage here from GDC yeah. of people <laughs> using the uh, the move controllers right. and whatnot. For the castle. The castle, yeah. And the castle wasn't shown as much at GDC, so we're going to show it more here, I think. Right. So. That's amazing. Now, we saw the hardware, obviously, in the sort of a prototype phase. Has anything changed about the specs or anything since GDC, or it's still pretty much no, the same? No, we're still using the dev kit, the one yeah. we're giving out to developers to make experiences with right. for this demo. There's a little bit, like, just we move the headphone jack a little bit just to be, make it easier to do the headphones, but right. just small things like that. I mean, VR seems like such a hot topic, lots of talk about Oculus every day. It seems like someone new from the gaming industry is mm -hmm. going over there. Are you getting more and more bullish on VR as you sort of go deeper and deeper into this project? I actually am. Okay. The greatest thing for me is when people are trying this on, they think that they know, oh, yeah, I know what this is going to be like. And when they take it off, they're just kind of speechless off. And they're like, right. and you can see their mind just kind of like thinking, this is actually really much better than I expected that was going to be. Yeah. And, I, and it's not just, you know, a mom or somebody like that. It's like the heads of companies who make games are right. like, whoa, that was way more of an experience that I ex was expecting to have. So. It's, well, it's fascinating, this, and you guys had a great talk at GDC about you know, what kind of content will work for this. And it's not just porting you know, no. PlayStation games to this. It's really building unique experiences right. for Morpheus. I think so, and it, I think that bringing over those gameplay ideas will be good. Right. So game developers have an advantage if you already make games, but actually what the game will be, you know, I think that we don't know yet. And also, you know, control inputs, as you said, they're move. Some, some games use move, some use controller, or as you said, the luge, you're not no, even using nothing, anything. Yeah. 
Just your head. Yeah, just, just the tracking of the Morpheus itself. Well, it's amazing. So, uh, you know, Magic Lab, we know about this R&D division. How much of Magic Lab is focused on Morpheus? I mean, is this your big project right now? It's one of the biggest projects we work okay. on, of Ooh. course, because right. it, it is kind of, you know, in the, in the zone right now. And we're, yeah. we're making new experiences, and our group loves to make new experiences. I, I recently actually worked on taking Castle and making a networked version of Castle, so you get them two players interacting. And we showed that on The Tonight Show recently. Uh, yeah, we saw that uh, with yeah. uh, Channing Tatum and Jimmy yeah. Fallon. Having a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, well, it's really awesome to get an update on Project Morpheus. I uh, can't wait to see it at the booth. And uh, I'm sure, you know, we don't know a lot about details on when it's coming out, but it's something that is very exciting and coming from PlayStation. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, thanks, thanks very thanks, much, man. Richard. Have a great thanks, time Jeff. at the press conference. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more tonight. Uh, let's go back on over now to Daniel, uh, where things are about to get creepy with the evil within. DK.